Time for your morning news now. A teen is missing in Sauk County. Authorities are continuing their search for 13-year-old James Yablonski. Police believe he's in a rural area near Devil's Lake State Park. Yablonski reportedly left his... Excuse me. So sorry. Um, look... Yablonski reportedly left his family's home overnight in a family car on Sunday night and was reported missing Monday morning. Location data brought authorities to a makeshift campsite with clothing, a phone charger, and a pillow. Yablonski's father reported he's missing a handgun, but authorities say it's unclear if the teen has it. Officials are asking people to avoid the area while they search. Extra volunteers from around the country are helping out at a Habitat for Humanity project in Arcadia. Carrie Vanners is a Habitat program full of RV travelers. The group plans stops at Habitat work sites while on trips across the country. This is the group's second time stopping in the area after coming to help with a project last June. We move at different speeds, of course, but uh, we pick up whatever's situation or whatever uh, however they are, whatever level they are on the construction. The group will be helping the La Crosse area habitat for the next few weeks. If you would like to donate or volunteer, we'll have information posted on our website. Registration is open for a day of adaptive water skiing in La Crosse. The River City Water Show Ski Team and the North American Squirrel Association are holding two ski days this summer. The first is this Friday. There are multiple ski sessions, each with a max of six participants. We'll post more information on our website. Today, Wisconsin State Troopers are hosting an open house at the Sparta State Patrol Post off I-90. The open house runs from 3 to 7. Visitors can get an up-close look at equipment and patrol vehicles. There's also a chance to talk to troopers about job opportunities. And as you head out the door this morning, uh, temperatures will be into the 60s by 7 o'clock, followed by the 70s, 9 o'clock. And we should be into the 80s here as we head into those afternoon hours. It's going to be turning pretty warm here. The highs will be into those mid to upper 80s later this afternoon. Under mostly sunny skies, a slight chance of a shower here is possible late afternoon into early evening. A check now on your eight-day forecast showing us that by tomorrow, highs reach 88 degrees. And it will be slightly on the hazy side as well as we're watching a front that's going to drag in some smoke and hazy conditions across the area. And that's thanks to the Canadian wildfires to the north that they're still dealing with, which will be affecting us. Now, the rest of the week, not as hazy. Mixed sun and clouds, highs in the 80s, lows, 50s, and 60s.